Hi guys, it's me, Jim. <laughs> I'm Luke. <laughs> and uh, we have got a special little treat for you today, guys. This is a little bit something different from what we normally do. Yeah. Um, obviously, Luke's done a few Yu-Gi-Oh card games <laughs> in the past. Um, with his Yu-Gi-Ohs and the throwing out of the monsters and the, and the whatnot. So, basically, we met a very nice man called Dan, who works with Wizards of the Coast. And yep. he was really kind enough to give us a early copy of a new D&D &D game. Dungeon Mayhem! It's really good. So, do you want to explain a little bit about why this is different from normal D&D stuff? Yeah, so basically, Dungeon Mayhem is a solution to a problem that Wizards of the Coast had where the full D&D game mm. lasts upwards of five hours plus. And it they does. thought, well, let's make another game that's quicker. And they came yeah. up with Magic. They did. And Magic took too long. Uh, it isn't so... too long, it's just a longer <laughs> game. People don't have much time anymore. Yeah. So they decided to come up with this little package here called Dungeon Mayhem. It takes about five to ten minutes to play, depending on the amount of players. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, that's their answer. So basically guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to give you a quick run through of what the game is, what you get in the box, um, how you, like, we're going to do a video of how you play it separately, so we're basically just going to review the game in this one, and kind of show you what you get in there, and give you our thoughts on the game. Yeah. We've played it quite a bit actually, Yeah, we really enjoyed it. A whole day at work. Yeah, <laughs> we really enjoyed it actually. Um, it is really fast paced, it's really quick, like some rounds weren't even lasting, what, two minutes? That's because I was really bad. Um, but but it. it's great. Like so, but yeah, let's get into the box and and we'll we'll go a bit further from there. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the box that it comes in. We're gonna have a look inside right now. Just open her up, Jim. Ooh, boom. Okay. So first of all, you get obviously we've opened this because we played it. We played so it. You get an instruction booklet. As you can see, it's nice and simple. As we said, it's it's a really quick, nice, easy aim. So, slam. Words. Slam. Pictures. Just stuff and whatnot. But yeah, super quick. I read that in like two minutes. Taught you how to play really quickly. You did. Simple. Easy. Easy. Now, else in the box. All there of you go. Out. Boom. So, <laughs> in this box, you get four decks of cards. Cards, that's right. So you get four characters. I'll Can give I you this some? so you know, so you know oh, yeah, yeah, who yeah, the yeah, character yeah. is. So first of all, we've got this awesome green orc person. Sutha the Skull Crusher. She or he is a barbarian. Rushes skulls, man. She walks around smashing them. She's pretty cool. I really like her. Um, she's kind of like a really heavy hitter. Fave character? Fave character. Sick. All the way. Um, but yeah, she's like a really heavy hitter. Not so great on defense and stuff. But if you save up her combos, you can do like 10 damage in one move. You can hold smash, hold the smash. Then we've got this guy, who's like the devil from Cow and Chicken, but with trousers on. <laughs> I love that guy. He wears the devil with the butt. Yeah. Um, Oriax the Clever. Yeah. The um, Rogue. He's really fun. I really like him. A bit like um, Loki. Yeah. Very He's trickster. kind of like, he can steal cards from the other player and he can also destroy certain cards. And just completely stop them from working. Which yeah. Is pretty good. They're really good fun. Next! Then we've got this bald, MF. absolute animal of a man who is this guy. Azan the Mystic. Oh, he's mystic. <laughs> he's a wizard. He's a wizard. He's a wizard, Harry. He's a wizard. Yeah. I actually quite liked him too. Then we've got this chick. Boom! Oh, Who's the hot girl. Thing? She, or he, is Leah the Radiant. The Paladin! She's radiant! Look how radiant she is. Radiant! Yeah, she's she's really good. And Pure she's radiance. like really good, like healing, defensive. She's kind of like a middle ground one. I kind of like her. There it is. But what we'll do is with each character, you get two things. So you get these two. Boom, right? What's this one, Luke? You know what this is? No, no, what's this That's one? You tell you. That one. This is your health sheet. That's right. And you need... Where's our, to where's our tokens? Huh. Here's a token. You get these, look. These. Put that on there. So you go pow, right? And then you count down you the pow, numbers, pow, right? Pow, 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 pow. You go, ah! And then when you get to here, you're like, ah! And you're dead. It's you crazy. Go. It's insane. Yeah. It's a wild ride. It's <laughs> but with each with each cut, with each deck, you get like this. And basically what this does is... I'll try and get a little bit closer to try and help you guys. But basically what this does is it helps you decide, like choose what to do because it kind of helps you with what the symbols do so um on your cards so you could give me one of these as an example don't take my cards um you can't see with this cards. one you see this one this has three cards on it so what you would do is you'd find out what it does it means draw a card so you'd get draw three cards with that one um 
If we go to the next one, this has little swords on it. And basically what you do is you look at your thing. I've put the wrong one back, Luke. What are you I don't know what you're doing. For? You're trying to do it so right? fast, I don't know what you're doing. And then you attack with two swords. But you basically can either block one damage, draw a card, deal one damage, play an extra card, or recover one hit point. There are lots of fun. And then each character has its own special moves. Um, this guy would do mighty power, so choose any card in your discard pile and put it into your hand, or destroy all cards in play. Get down. So that, that, that's Get hers. Down. I like it. But anyway, <laughs> that's... Uh, I was just looking at your genital that's area. Right. That's the best area of me. That's your only good redeeming area. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> they're the four characters you play as. Um, each one has quite a lot of diversity. Yeah. We were really surprised when we first played it as to how different each one played. Like, everyone has strengths and weaknesses, mm. but they only so have, like, different strategies. Like, you would play one you would play one character and really hate it. Yeah. And then I would play it. I think it was just in the situation yeah. that it was bad in that and situation. And played completely differently. Yeah. Um, I think, for example, where's the yellow deck? Um, Here. This guy. So, he... I played him the first time, absolutely hated him, really didn't like him. But then I played him the second time. I beat you twice with him in a row, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. And I played him the second time, knowing what his deck was like this time. And I preferred it so much because basically he has loads of these, which lets you pick up three cards at a time. Mm. So what I would do is I'd sit and keep in my inventory, and I would I would wait until I had loads of the double lightning ones, and then I would save them up, and then get these. And then what I would do is I would use, pick up three cards, I would use the lightning bolt, to pick up six cards, and then combo the shit out of it, <laughs> and destroy you in one move. It was amazing. And because I waited and bided my time, Strategy, I did mate. really well with him, yeah. So that's what I mean, like each character has its own real diversity. It's really good. I really so let's like have a it. quick rundown of how a little match would go. So you, you have your cards in your hand. Mm -hmm. You're, you're going first, what do you do? So I basically have to choose a card that I'm going to play, put it down and then follow that card. To the T. To T, and then it goes on to the next player. Yeah. So you can continue with like lightning bolts and stuff like that, but it's the first person to go from 10, 10 health points to zero. That's it. Rounds lasted when we played anywhere from like two minutes to, to five, five, ten. Yeah. Um, Depends on. It was super quick sometimes. You could one hit quick, someone, couldn't But you? it was a lot of fun. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Went it well. was great. It was so easy, so easy to learn and play. We did all this at work. By yeah, the way, it was so. great. Um, <laughs> I, I highly recommend it. I think mm, it's a it's really good. good turn on the D and D series. Um, it's a good it's, way it's to get a, people. A really, in. Yeah, like it's it's just such an easy thing to have on you and just play at any point. Like yeah, anywhere. You was at a bus stop and you just went up to a dude and was like, hey, do you want to play something? <laughs> he's like, probably no. going to look at you like, get what lost. the F, man, go away. <laughs> but if you didn't, you'd be able to teach that dude to play this game yeah. in like two minutes. Easy. And you two would even miss your bus because you'd be like, <laughs> I'm going to take you like this. <laughs> oh, that, Damn that bus. We'd miss the next one again, you know? Yeah. Like, um, But what's your overall views on the game? Like, um, I'd say it's a good jumping point for people to get into D&D &D, uh, or the world of D&D, &D, should we say. And then... You know, maybe go deeper from there. It's good to get people that probably aren't interested in D&D, mm. um, yes. and just be like, "Oh, it's just a card. It's a fun card game. Just play it." Yeah. And, you know, you don't even have to tell people what it's about, mm. really. Um, so yeah, I think it's good in that respect. What do yeah. you? I I just thought I I loved how easy it was to play. I loved how quick it was to play, and it was just a lot of fun. I did not think I would enjoy it as much as I did. Mm. I knew I was going to enjoy it because I like D and D. I like my card like games. Card games, yeah. Um, but I just thought because of how short it was, it played. I thought I'd be like, yeah, it's good, it's okay. Yeah. But like, it was a bit like the Harry Potter Quidditch card game that I bought years ago. We're talking like ten years ago, um, and it was rubbish. I I thought I was gonna really like it, didn't like it. Do wizards all. make that game? Um, and I loved Harry Potter and stuff. Huh? Do wizards make that game? No. Oh, good. That's right. You can um, say it's rubbish then. <laughs> but I loved it. I I, I, I love this. I thought this was great. Um, and it's just. It's going to stay in my bag and we're going to play it at work a lot more. We're going to play it just randomly from at home and with my son and stuff like that. Just, it's a great game. Um, but it's not actually out yet, guys. It comes out on November the 16th. Um, so, guys, I highly recommend you go out and get this. It's yeah. really good. A lot of you guys I know really enjoy D&D &D and I know you enjoy your board games and your card games. So definitely go out there and pick this one up. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, don't get Pokemon Go, get this. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon um, Let's Go. The, the art style was brilliant as well. Like, mm. what, I was looking at the cards and some of them were making really making me laugh. Some of them I was just kind of looking at like, just that is so well done. Yeah, cool. um, but as card games go, I would give it an easy... 
eight and a half out of ten. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna give it a number because I didn't think of that. No. So <laughs> we'll That's just stick fine. with yours. I mean, I would give. That's the Luke and James give, eight out of ten. I would easily give it an eight and a half out of ten. Um, and I would love to see some expansions later on down the line. And the game's not even out yet, so we're not gonna go too much into that. But I would love to see some expansions down the line, like new characters being added in, so that you can buy those and add them in. That'd be brilliant. So, yeah, so um, let us know in the comments below if you're going to get this game or you yeah. want it. Or if you've played it already at con or something yes. like that. Yes, and if you want us to do a little let's play. Yeah, we're going to do an actual let's play of me and Luke going head to head in, ba in Dungeon Mayhem. We're going to battle to the death. Yep, Jim will actually find die out at the end who of it. Wins. He's actually going to perish. That's right. We're get whoever loses has to bathe in acid. <laughs> you know? Like bit, it's, it's, done that to someone before. It's gonna before. be you or me. I, I, I won't lose. It's gonna be crazy. I've lost every time we've played, pretty much. Yeah. But remember, guys, if yeah. you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And what do they do if they're new to the channel, Luke? Subscribe, please. That's right, guys, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Bye. I can't stop it. I right. can't stop it. I'm gonna go buy the acid. <laughs> right. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me, Jim, and Luke. Well done, let's try that again. I'm doing the comedy timing. Oh, right. <laughs> bit, bit too long. Let's work up to it, let's build up to it first. Let's I, do a couple. I think it felt more like, I'm stupid. <laughs> That's what I'm going yeah. for. <laughs> more so than comedy. I like that, I do. <laughs> Keep that. <laughs>